This is Eugene pan -Rutkovich. I'm the laptop screen doc. The website is www.screensurgeons.com. Uh, today we're going to replace a cracked laptop screen on an HP Pavilion DV7-3173 NR laptop computer. Okay, this is a big laptop computer. It has a 17.3 inch LED screen. And uh, this one is actually real easy to work with. Now, as of early 2011, there's two types of HP DV7 laptops. Um, this is the older type of laptop. It's got a black case with some swirly designs on the bottom. And the good news about this type of DV7 is that it's much, much easier to replace a screen on this than a later type of a DV7. Okay, uh, I also have a second type of a DV7. This is the newer, sleeker, fancier type. It's got a gray metallic body on it. It's thinner and sleeker. And this particular one is a DV7-4065 in our ability. Now, the thing that makes this one so difficult to work with is that there's some hidden screws there for which you pretty much have to take the whole laptop apart to get to so you can take off the screen and the screen frame. I actually go through this in a, another video. Just search my videos for uh, HP DV7-4065 and uh, let's get a close up here. You could kind of see where the screws are here hiding behind some plastic covers over here and over here. Okay, uh, so we're not going to work on this one. We're going to work on the easy one today, which is good. Okay, so for this one, basically you need to remove two screws here that are easy to get to and remove the plastic frame. The tools that you will need for this job are a pair of metal tweezers, an X-Acto knife blade, preferably with one sharp end, and an electronics screwdriver, just a small screwdriver with a pH1 head. So um, the first thing that we want to do is remove the two screws that are holding the plastic frame together. So for that, there's a plastic cover that covers up the screws. One, there goes one, it flew off. And there goes two. This one didn't go fly as far. I'll have to go looking for the other one later. So uh, then they, you can easily reach the screws with a screwdriver. For many models, you can't. You have to do some tricks. But for the D, this DV7, it's real easy. So we remove this screw. One. And I'm holding a screwdriver at an angle so the camera can get a good angle at the screw. And there it is. Okay, once the screws are removed, we remove the plastic frame, also known as the bezel and also known as the casing. So what I like to do is rotate the laptop around, put my fingernails on the screen side and gently pry up. And this one particular model comes off real easy. With some other models, it's more of a struggle. This one, it's not so bad. Okay, and then we get to the bottom and just do the same thing. And off it goes. That was easy. Okay, next step is to remove these two screws up here so we could tilt the frame that holds the screen forward to get to these screws that hold the screen inside the frame. 
So we remove these two screws. See if we can get a good angle for the camera. Sometimes it's not so easy. Okay, one screw. And let's zoom in. The closer I zoom in, the more I risk of having the picture out of the field of view. Okay, uh, we also want to loosen up some screws on the bottom, and that's to tilt the whole frame forward to get at the screws. There's three screws on each side. Just don't take them out all the way. Just loosen them up. Like so. Okay, once this is done, this allows us to tilt this frame forward, as you can see, and we have access to the screws on the side. So we take one out, and the second one on the bottom, like so. Okay, be careful so that the screen doesn't fall out once all the screws are loosed. So you want to hold the screen with your fingers while you do this. Okay, one, and two. Okay, so the screen is loose now from the laptop. So what you want to do is tilt forward. For this model, you don't have to worry about a video cable being, the webcam table cable being stuck to the screen because it's inside the back assembly. And then we see the connector. So we lift up the tape, remove the adhesive backing. This part you gotta be kind of careful because there's cables going both ways and remove it. So we have the old screen out. Let's talk about the screen. The part number for this screen Let's see if we can get a good focus. I'm not sure if we can. B173RW01V0. The trickiest part of this job is to get the screen with the connector on the right side. Now, uh, most standard 17.3 inch LED screens will have the connector over here. Early HP 17.3 inch laptop models, for some reason they decided to have screens with a connector here. So these are a bit harder to find. So when you're replacing the screen, first take the screen out, determine whether the connector is, and make sure when you order that it's specified it's a right side connector. You can have the exact same part number screen and the connector will be here. So once again, that's the trickiest part of this job. Otherwise, this is a really easy laptop to work with. So if you cracked your screen on this laptop, actually it's good news because this is one of the easiest ones to replace. Okay, uh, thank you and good luck.